So now we want to add in our foundation wall, our walls and our footings. Uh, let's just go have a look at our main floor here. If I double click on my section, okay, we've got our second floor and walls, main floor. Now we're going to add in our foundation wall, which is going to go from the top of the footing up to the top of main minus the 14 inch thickness, okay, the top constraint. So we're going to double click on our top of footing. There's our view. And we're going to start our wall tool, home wall. And you can see when you click in your type selector, there's all different types of walls. There is a wall in there called foundation 12 inch concrete. It's a structural wall, which is fine. It's supposed to be, but it behaves differently from the other walls. This is, is, a, is a Revit structure wall instead of an architecture wall. And structure walls go from the top down instead of from the bottom up. They work differently and I don't want to spend the time in explaining that right here and now. So I would advise in the beginning until you get to the lesson where we talk about that don't use this wall type because it'll it'll do funny things because it goes uh, it goes from the top down instead of the bottom up which means you end up drawing stuff you can't see or you have to start to play with your view range and I don't want to do that right now so what we're going to do is we're going to just find our good old 8 inch generic okay basic wall 8 inch generic right off of there and then edit type there they are again inside of here listed but again I want 8 inch generic here we go duplicate we're gonna do a lot of this and we're gonna call it 8 inch foundation wall that's our foundation wall okay into the structure button okay 8 inches is good and this is cast in place concrete so we we know that for sure we might as well pick that off of our list over there and I'll just pull this down a little bit okay so all I did there is I actually picked this little button inside the materials here because this is an easy one 8 inch concrete cast in place zoom in there's our wall 8 inches is good hit OK so that's what makes up the wall easily right uh, good and now when I go to draw it, okay, I'm going to set the bottom is top of footing offset of zero up to top of main minus one foot two. And it's smart enough to remember my last parameters. Okay, height is there, which is reading this. Location line, core face, exterior, chain, meaning I can pick lines from end to end plan offset of zero if I wanted to be offset from the grid line as I go I could set an offset okay if I set a radius it'll round all my corners and then I pick and I start to drag if you notice the wall is on the wrong side when you drag you can hit your space bar okay space bar will flip it from side to side so off I go I can actually do this from zooming out to about here and again you can use your shift key on the keyboard to ensure that it stays straight probably good time to do that right now because it's like using your ortho again the chain effect click is allowing me to go end to end when walls meet the corners of other walls they automatically do their little cleanup if you take this guy and you grip it and pull it off it'll go away if you want it to go back you can always go into modify and you can use here trim fillet and then trim trim okay escape escape if this gets pulled off and I'll use my shift key to make sure it goes nice and straight okay you can use your trim key on modify tab and go this one look at the blue line you see click there you go escape escape on the keyboard double click zoom in there's my foundation wall looks good go to my 3d view there's my building with my foundation wall okay footings are actually really easy I'm gonna use my shift middle mouse button to swivel so I can see the underside here okay and I'm gonna go up to my structure tab foundation panel here there's an isolated footing for footing pad there is a wall strip foundation which is what we want and then there is a foundation slab which is just a big flat slab 
So we're going to say we want a foundation wall footing. Okay, click. And the inside of there it says wall foundation bearing footing. Well, we don't want a bearing footing. We want a just a yes, we do want a bearing footing. We do not want a retaining. Retaining lets you put in a an uh an offset kind of side where one side is uh cantilevered further out for your retaining footing. We just want a bearing footing 36 by 12. Nah, let's duplicate that. Okay, so we'll go edit and then we'll say bearing footing 36 by 12 let's duplicate that and let's click in here backspace and make it 10 inches sure 36 by 10 the engineers told us that's the size of the footing we hit OK that only changes the name now what we have to do is go in and actually change look foundation thickness we need to change this to say 10 inches and don't forget to say inch inches because if you don't it makes it feet in Revit. If you say no units, it'll make it feet if you're Imperial. You, if you want it inches, you have to say inches. It's the opposite of AutoCAD. So now the foundation thickness is 10 inches. The width is 3 feet centered on the wall. Hit OK. And now what happens is all you have to do is go pick on the wall. Pick, 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 and pick. And then it's going to put those footings in for you. If you go to your cross section, double click on there. There's your cross section. Change this to say shaded mode if you want. Okay, so we've got all that looking good inside of there. Back to the 3D view. We could even do it faster. Watch, I'm going to pick on here and delete these footings. Hover, click, and then delete on the keyboard. Okay, watch. If I go in here and say wall foundation footing, click. And then if these are all joined up, all I have to do is hover, tab on the keyboard, tab, click. And that would do them all. Hover, tab to select the chain of them, and then click. And that's your answer. Now if we go back to my foundation footing plan, okay, we're not going to see our footings in there. We're going to have to play with our view range a little bit to capture that. But we do have them in our 3D view. We know they're there. Okay, so uh, next we need to just adjust our foundation or footing plan top of footing over here.